Hey YouTube, how's it going? Dr. C. Joe here. And in this video, I wanted to go over a short, a YouTube short that I put out a little while ago. And it's a perfect example of a deosion and phasmophobia and what some of the tall tale signs of it are. So uh, yeah, I hope you find this video uh, interesting or at the very least that you learn something from it so that you can too better identify a deosion when uh, it hunts you and you can't hide from it. So uh, anyway, if you like the video, like it, if you dislike it, dislike it. But if you, and leave me a comment, let me know what you Thanks. Let me know if you found this useful. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Um, and if you ever want to join me live on stream, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, 4 to 6 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, and Sundays from 9 to 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, where I do fun little speed runs. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and play the video as it is. You may need to zoom in a little bit. It's kind of hard to see. Um, and then uh, I will we'll break it down. So here's the video on its own. All right, let's listen. Oh, shit. Oh, god damn it. Of course it was that one. All right, well, we're going to find out where it is. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, crying ghost. Okay. holding the door and everything it was a de oh okay there it is so it was a deosian if i'm not mistaken got fingered by the ghost yeah bad the deosian is can it's a super slow ghost but the downside of it is it'll always find you all right let's listen so yes that is always the case it will always find you and actually vince if you're still watching yeah that was you in the video that told me i got fingered by the ghost that's exactly what happened all right, so uh, let's go ahead and break this video down really quick. Again, I know I apologize. It's kind of hard to see. I can't really make it any bigger. At least, well, maybe I can. Hang on. Load if I try this. Okay, so let's go ahead and break this video down. So I start off the game. This is like really, really, really early in the game. Like I can't figure out where the ghost is. And so I have the voodoo doll available to me. And the thing is about the voodoo doll is it'll like you'll push in like various pins on the voodoo doll and the ghost will make a noise. Until you push the pin that is directly in the heart. It's always random. Uh, it just so happens that my first use of it pushed the pin through the heart, triggering an instant cursed hunt. So let's go ahead and, and watch this a little right, bit closer. So I'm listening for the ghost. And then, oh, shit. boom. Oh, oh shit. It. Oh, God damn one. it. All right. Well, we're going to find out where it is. Okay. So, okay. So I'm, do I'm, I don't see it. so I'm doing the good stuff here. I'm looping the ghost around the car. That's good. Now, what I should have done right here is I should have paused. I should have watched the ghost. I should have seen how fast it was. Deosians, like I said, are really slow. You can completely loop a ghost. You can walk away from it. It is really slow. You used to always be able to loop until, like, the update about, like, a year ago now. And now the longer the ghost rem you remain in the ghost site, the faster it'll become. So it'll always catch you if you just purely try to loop it. Unless you're psycho and apparently you can loop a, loop a revenant. But, you know, you can YouTube that. Um, I immediately booked it the heft, the, like the fuck out of there. And so like, I didn't get a chance to oh, stop to see how back. fast the ghost was moving. So I just head on out. Now, here's the other thing. I want you to listen really carefully here. Listen, listen to the ghost footsteps. So you can also tell how fast a ghost is based on how the footsteps are going. So like, a revenant, when it sees you, is going to be like, tuh, 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 It sounds like a toddler running down a hallway. Now, this ghost, if you listen carefully, it's just like a, tuh. like, well, just listen. You hear the, tug, tug, tug. God damn it! I saw me! So, yeah, like, listen to those footsteps again. They were really slow. Listen to this when I get into the, the closet. It was super it. slow. It, saw me. Fuck. <laughs> it didn't just see me. It could always see me. I was holding the door and everything. And I was, but it doesn't matter. Oh. Okay, there it is. So it was a deosian. If I'm not mistaken, got fingered by the ghost. Yeah, bad. Oh boy, did the I. The deosian is, can, 
it's a super slow ghost but the downside of it is it'll always find you all right, let's yeah, and so that's the thing to remember when you are when you end up with a Diosian as a ghost and how you're able to identify it. So if you're running, say, like a no evidence run or you're running like maybe nightmare mode where you only get two pieces of evidence and you're still not 100% sure what the ghost is, you need to trigger a hunt. Now, if it is, in fact, a Diosian, no real need to be scared of it. I mean, it won't catch you even under the best of its circumstances so long as you don't like – you know, get stuck behind like a bookshelf or off like on like a like a coffee table or something like that. If you can easily comfortably like run away from the ghost on a bigger map or um, comfortably like loop it, it'll never catch you. I could have looped it around that van as many times as I would have liked. Um, but yeah, so that is the way you can discover you the way you can find out if it's a Diosian or not is based on some of its hunting patterns. But again, don't try to hide it will find you so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you find it useful um again uh if you liked the video like it if you dislike it dislike it um as instant would say and uh let me know what you think about this video in the comments did you find it useful uh, subscribe if you haven't already if you ever want to join me live here on twitch uh, tuesdays thursdays 4 to 6 p.m uh pacific daylight time and then sundays from 9 to 10 a.m pacific daylight time where i do fun little speed runs so with that being said have a great day youtube love you bye take it easy